federal government copies BRGIE, set to change name to the United States of Nigeria to stop Biafra liberation. Hear the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome to Biafra Unite Channel slash Television this very moment. Today's date is 31st of March 2024, and I want to say a happy Easter for every one of you listening to me right now from where you are all over the world. Dear friends and lovers of freedom, I want you to pay very good attention to this very news because it's very, very important. I can assure you, my people, I don't want to talk too much. I just want to rush and read the news in details. And as you can see on your screen, I will be reading from the Punch newspaper and another Zoo Gotha media outlet. And according to their own title, they said, Restructuring. AFDB Bowls additional proposes United States of Nigeria. <laughs> copy, copy. Now, before moving forward to read this news in details, I want to remind you that the United States of Biafra, as our own name, has been there. We, the indigenous people of Biafra, have been clamoring for that name. We have been longing for that name, the United States of Biafra for very many years now. In fact, we have even adopted the name even before it was made official. Now, after the formation and the restoration of the Biafra Republic government in exile, BLGIE, through the office of the Prime Minister, Mazi Samonepa, made it official, official as the government now, made it official, that we have adopted the name, the United States of Biafra the 40 United States of Biafra, it became official and constitutional, at least for now. All of a sudden, boom, the zoo has landed. You know, because they copy every single thing we do. They say they don't want us, they don't love us. Why can't you leave us to go? Rather, you keep on copying every single thing that we do. And this is not just to copy what we do. They copy it with, without shame because they are running helter skater you know any any available route to escape the coming of biafra they are trying everything they can to stop mazi samanepa to stop mazi namdekano to stop biafra from coming but they fail to understand that this current generation of biafra that we all are included can never blink our eye and allow the zoo to have her way that time has passed they are exploring all every available route every available means in order to stop the coming of biafra because they have seen the handwriting on the wall now they think changing them to the united states of biafra and uh, allowing restructuring to take place so that Igbos and the uh, other ethnic nationalities in biafra land can stick with one nigeria they are not aware that our fight is not about resource control. Our fight is not all about restructuring so that we can control our resources. Our fight is not about the oil. Our fight is strictly a fight for survival. A fight for survival. Because the Fulani is here to exterminate every ethnic nationality or individuals in the zoo in order to occupy their ancestral land. So let me read because I don't want to analyze it first. And they said, the president, African Development Bank Group, Dr. Akiumi Adeshina, has called for a change of name from the Federal Republic of Nigeria to the United States of Nigeria. Adeshina said this in a statement by his special advisor on industrialization, Prof. Banji Oyelaran Oyeyinka, made available to Punch Online on Saturday. Adeshina was quoted to have made the call in a lecture he delivered as the recipient of the 2024 Obafemi Awolowo Prize for Leadership titled Making a New Nigeria, Welfareist Policies and People-Centered Development. He explained that a change to the United States of Nigeria would change the relational mindset between the state and Abuja, stating that the fulcrum will be the state, while the center will support them, not lord over them. You guys explain, 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 tire, no evidence. He said, We must be audacious. Instead of the federal government of Nigeria, we could think of the United States of Nigeria. The old will give way to the new. Where have you been all this while, Mr. Adeshona? 
<laughs> the so-called additional where have you been before the government of biafra brought it to the public after we have clamored for this name for the for the past decades until now that the biafra government in exile made it open and official to the whole world that we have adopted the name the 40 united states of biafra where have you been all this while until now <laughs> mad people everywhere now we will change the relational mindset between the states and abuja the fulcrum will be the states why the center will support them not lord over them with good governance better accountability system and zero tolerance for corruption more economically stronger constituent states would emerge we would unleash massive wealth across the states a new nigeria will arise to do so we will need all of us not some of us <laughs> unfortunately you are talking about an already collapsed zoological republic of animal kingdom nigeria mad people everywhere and he continued from our forgotten rural villages to our boisterous and dynamic urban areas from the sparks of desire in the eyes of our children to the lingering hope in the hearts of our youths from the yearnings of our women and mothers and our men and fathers for a better tomorrow and the desires of the old that our end will be better than our past from the hard-working street vendors and small businesses to the largest business conglomerates we must create a movement of hope he added that the achievement of economically viable entities and the viability of the national entity requires constitutional changes to devolve more economic and fiscal powers to the states or regions the stronger the states or regions the stronger the federated units additionally retreated that to get out of the economic quagmire there is a need for the restructuring of nigeria saying restructuring should not be driven by political expediency but by economic and financial viability Oga, we want to know if you are a poetic are you writing a poem because all these things you are saying of course as beautiful as they sound it is unrealistic as far as the zoological republic of animal kingdom is concerned it is unrealistic you cannot write grammar to the fulani that is in power you can't speak grammar to fulani that is in power get that into your empty brain you intellectual you cannot write this grammar this poem to the fulani who is in power you think tunubu is in power do you think that tunubu is in power who put tunubu there who is the man that put tunubu in power is he not a fulani man who is the INEC chairman who organized it did you not hear when erufai said it that it was their plan to put tunubu and uh, 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 kashim shetima in order to have to the, the uh, what they call muslim muslim ticket did you not hear when erufai said it in the public did you do anything did all you fools, all you intellectuals do anything? Did you say anything? Rather, you are afraid, hiding under your wife's uh, uh, rapper. Now you have remembered how to write a poem because we have adopted the name <laughs> the 40 United States of Biafra. Mad people everywhere. Didiot continued economic and financial viability are the necessary and sufficient conditions for political viability if there was one attribute that defined chief of bafemi awolowo and there were many it would be his visionary boldness he went where others feared or failed to go in the process decades later his footprint remain in the sands of time likewise today in nigeria we need men and women with vision who are willing to take bold decisions he said oh so that means tinubu is not enough <laughs> it's not man enough he can't take bold step thank god you know thank god that you know that tinubu cannot take bold step and nobody can nobody can if dagaban cannot so nobody can the only person or people who can take such bold step without having any any obstacle are the Fulani politicians. But unfortunately, the present condition and the present setting of the zoo 
suit them very well because they made it happen they made it be as it is today through the help of the british they made it look the way it is today yes so the full animated. made it the present settings of the zoo that you see today is the handwork of the Fulani. And they are the only people, I said only, go and mark it somewhere. The Fulani politicians are the only set of people that can bring restructuring to the zoo. And as long as the current, you know, the status quo, the current settings of the zoo is beneficial to them, they can never ever listen to any idiot who is talking about restructuring when they are telling you that oil in Bayelsa belongs to Jigawa. So you want to restructure so that the oil in Bayelsa will not belong to Bayelsa, no longer to Jigawa, no longer belonging to Jigawa. That you know, sometimes these idiots, when they talk, I begin to wonder if they even attend primary school and at the same time they claim to be you know, intellectuals that they call intellectuals. These are people who, may, who have made so much wealth, who have traveled almost all over the world. They have seen development. They have, they have been exposed. Yet, they have no common sense. They do not understand what is going on in this so-called country where they come from. And people like us are the ones telling them, look, this is how it is. You can't change this. If Fulani decide today to restructure Nigeria, Yoruba cannot fight Fulani. They can't. Uh, nobody. Is he not Tinubu? Who is your highest politician? No, be Tinubu. Is he not Tinubu that is under the Fulani payroll, uh, Fulani instructions in Abuja? Is he the one that will say no? We don't want restructuring. Is he Peter be from the east? Who who will challenge Fulani if they say we want to restructure the zoo today? But they can't because the way the zoo is is for their own benefit. The earlier you start fighting for your freedom, the better for all of you. Mad people everywhere. He lamented that the Nigerians paid one of the highest implicit tax rates in the world, adding that when government or institutions failed to provide basic services, the people would bear the burden of a heavy implicit tax. Now, I don't think I have to continue reading this because this man is provoking me. I just want you to see how they are running Helter Skater, trying to copy Biafra, trying to copy the Prime Minister, trying to copy, you know, Biafra Republic of Maintain Exile. But let me tell them, we are one million, you know, steps ahead of them. Thank you, my people. To salo no I make it go viral.